Welcome guys. In this video we will be looking at the new update 2.6, so as with every new update we get a new themed game mode, and this time it's called Dino Ground, available in Orangle and Livic. Get ready to encounter a few dinosaurs roaming around in your games, in Dino Ground, you will find these dino settlements, 3 in Orangle, and 2 in Livic. And 2 of them can spawn T-Rex over there. If you decide to land in Dino Settlement, then be prepared for instant gunfights, as the area is filled with plenty of supplies and weapons everywhere, making this a popular hot drop location for many players. Upon entering the Dino Settlement, you'll receive a respawn card, so you can enjoy the chaos here, or create some chaos. Anyway at the center of Dino Settlement, you will find a big chest that contains advanced supplies and loot. As the timer runs out, the T-Rex will spawn, don't be afraid, there's no need to shoot or kill this dinosaur because it's friendly, and if you go close, you can even ride this T-Rex all over the map along with your teammates. The T-Rex can cross through rivers and climb mountains effortlessly. T-Rex has two special abilities, if you press on the dash option, it will give you a speed boost for few seconds to run faster, and if you press the roar option, T-Rex will scream, and that scream can damage your opponents by a small amount. T-Rex can easily blow up vehicles by simply running over them twice, causing the vehicle to explode. Same goes for the opponents, just by stepping on players, it will be an instant knock or kill. Be aware that other players can still shoot at you when you are riding T-Rex. Now let's talk about these green circles on map, they are known as the primal zone, where you can find flying pterosaurs and speedy velociraptors, you must be curious about how to drive these creatures like this. Well, to begin with, you need to enter the primal zone, and you will encounter the dinosaurs, defeat these creatures to get some loot, and now you can tame these dinosaurs to ride them. When you're flying on pterosaurs, you have two unique abilities. Firstly, the dash ability provides a quick burst of momentum to propel you forward. Secondly, there's the drag and grab option. By activating it, you'll notice a blue glowing area. Position this area over your teammates to pick them up and fly away together. Similarly, you can also use this ability to grab your opponents and take flight. Just remember, they have the option to break free and parachute away if they choose to do so. And there's this fun mini-game that involves flying through these hoops to complete challenges and earn crate rewards. These dino crates contain valuable supplies and weapons to aid you in your game. And Velociraptors is just a running dinosaur with jumping ability, but it is quite fast. In this update, there's a new exciting item in the supply shop, Full Auto Mode. This Full Auto attachment can be equipped on M16A4 and MK47, transforming these weapons into fully automatic firearms. And the Murado Open Top now features a retractable roof, so you can open the roof or close it at your preference. Also keep an eye out for the newly introduced monster trucks spawning around a wrangle. This new version also features a companion spectating mode. Once you have been eliminated, you have the option to transform into a companion. This allows you to freely roam around and explore the surroundings, and your teammates can witness your presence as a companion. Obviously, it's important to note that you won't be able to see opponents or any loot on the ground during this mode. If your teammates are too annoying you can disable this in settings. Enjoy the enhanced spectating experience. Anyway that's all I got for this video, if you have any questions regarding this update 2.6 comment them down below. That's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these. See you guys in the next one.